What is up, Workbringer here, and today I'm reporting in on my progress as a Protection Paladin tank in Season 1 of Shadowlands, and today I have hit a pretty big achievement for me if you've been following this channel. I do care about IO, and today I hit 1000 IO, which is going to make pugging a little bit smoother for the mid to high keys. I basically did during our uh, Fortified Push Week a lot of 13s, and I even finished two 14s, however it only shows the Theater of Pain 14 here. Uh, I finished them, but did not time them. Uh, the other thing I started doing this week was doing the raids. So I actually cleared 10 out of 10 normal this week and 7 out of 10 heroic. And that's because I am farming for the cheat death trinket from Sun King's Salvation. So let's check out the weekly vaults. And that's the other, uh, probably more interesting thing about this week is that I get an Apogee Anima Bead, and I had no idea what that meant, because I hadn't raided until this week. I didn't know it. I didn't know what this meant, so I had to go look it up. But basically, because I did Heroic, uh, I'm going to be able to get a 213 offhand. So, you know, technically a weapon, or an offhand, however you want to think about it. And that is significantly better than the shield that I have now, and it's from the raid, which is pretty cool, I think. But I also have these... 226 bis basically you would never I would never replace these they have haste these are my perfect stats and if I took these pants it's a bigger upgraded stats which is probably the move almost double the stamina and uh they're bis that is exactly what I need there's other pants and I don't need those ones I need this one to be bis so the responsible tank would have taken the pants but you've seen the thumbnail and also this ring is a massive upgrade too haste a lot of stamina but it's a ring, and I'm going to get more rings. What I go for is the Anima Bead so that I can get my raid-only shield. It is a little bit of an upgrade. But more than anything else, I tell my guild this as I'm deciding. I was like, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to get a shield. Pants are not that fun, even if they're better stats. So judge me how you want. This is my decision. You know, for min-maxing, I went for, like, a terrible choice. But, um... I spent a lot of time this week in the raid and to get like a raid uh, exclusive reward just feels good. Uh, 213 is also above end of dungeon loot for 15s, which I'll maybe do one this week. We'll see. So this is the raid finder turn in and I have never looked at this before. This is my first time looking at this and you'll see that the raid finder max drops 194, which would be much worse than what I have already. This I guess is the regular raid loot. And that goes up to 207. Still not all that great. I wouldn't want 207 because I can just get that from farming mists, which uh, you'll see I will be doing. Uh, I'm sure everyone is, basically. And so that's the mythic turn in the big guy. And so I guess you could get like a really high level shield like that from the mythic raid. But I don't know anyone doing mythic raid yet. Maybe my guild will eventually let me do that with them. But I don't think they're doing it either. Just They just got ahead of the curve. So this is where I can turn in. So I guess there's a way of getting a 220. Maybe that comes from Sire or Generals or something like that. I really don't know. This is my first week doing the raid. But it feels pretty awesome to have learned the raid, spent a lot of time in it. And I'm looking at the transmog. It super clashes with my outfit. But it is Kyrian though. So I'm into it. And that's kind of fun. I've never had a weapon from a raid before in my entire uh, WoW career. So I'm not going to give up the opportunity now. So here's the shield. Uh, it does clash transmog wise, but I it's cool to secure the transmog now because there's a you know there's a decent chance you never get a shield drop uh, with all the raid like the, the raid drop chance is mega low so to get the shield is like that's pretty cool and it is different than the renowned one that you'll get later and it does bump my eye level up uh, one level so that's that feels like some progress so yeah we're sitting at two fourteen now and I have um, not bis shield by any amount. But it does mean that I can lay off farming mists so hard because that's where my, my shield comes from. And end of dungeon loot mists, you're only going to get a 210. So the only way I'm going to get a better shield, most likely at this point, is to great vault a shield. So that would sort of feel bad to replace it next week if I get like a 226 shield. I would, of course, replace it. But at the same time, I have secured a raid only transmog. So I don't know. That's the choice I went with. Sue me. So as far as uh, conduits go here, I'm going to go with Shielding Words, which is going to give me a shield with Word of Glory that has saved my life multiple times. 
Uh, Royal Decree gives me Ancient Kings back faster and a free word of glory. That has also saved my life consistently. And Punish the Guilty is essentially a single target uh, buff to die damage, which in Raid I very much want. And it shows up in boss fights and we're going into a tyrannical week and I can hit 4.5k single target uh, with pride and everything. So we're going to look at my Mythic Plus build, Blessed Hammer. That uh, allows you to move around and kite. That's going to give me more shield bounces. This is going to allow me to do some CC. This gives me my cooldowns. That gives more healing. And I'll switch between these two depending on the affects and dungeon. Final stand is a taunt to my immunity, which that is my Mythic Plus build. Really like it. For raid, however, which I'm going to go do in a minute, I'm going to go Holy Shield for block. I'm going to go double, cru uh, double judgment. I'm going to take judgment of light, which is some single target healing for myself. And Righteous Protector is going to give me Avenging Wrath. Again, kind of damage focused and some other stuff back faster. So that's a quick recap on the progress. A um, little bit of an eye level bump, not a huge deal. Uh, cool shield feels cool. That's that's all I'm saying from the raid. So it feels good. I'm going to keep doing the raid and it's just nice to have something to show for it that I like, even though it's not the best stat upgrade. That was my decision. I would 100% stand by it. And uh, this week I'm going to be doing uh, the Mists 13 key I have and probably some raiding. I'll see you on the next video.